Welcome. We are back. We're back with Jackie. How are you today? I'm fantastic, Rick. How are you? Can't complain. We both woke up to the same news today that Redfin says they are leaving the National Association of Realtors. But like most headlines, um, it's a little muddier than that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. And so the NAR, they're embroiled in this big class action lawsuit that's coming up in a couple of weeks and uh and they're saying they're going to dig in and they're going to you know defend themselves and uh um, a lot of brokerages not a lot but notably um some big ones have settled and so nar says they're not going to settle but redfin is it's it's really so we are required to join the national association of realtors and they're like the country's largest lobbying group, right? Mm -hmm. I think they have an $84 million a year budget, something like that. Something crazy. Astounding. And so we're required to join them before we can join our local board. It's kind of like going to work for some places and you have to be in the union. Mm -hmm. And so exactly. N yeah. And NAR has said no mas. And what have you found out about this so far? So I think there's a couple things going on with Redfin, which they tried to break away from them back in June. Um, but in order for them to back away from them, they also have to back away from their local and their state, which they have no issues with. I think what they're trying to do, honestly, is get ahead of this lawsuit because they, they gave two, re two reasons in the letter. One of them was the sexual harassment allegations that are associated with NAR. And NARS just really gotten a bad name lately. I mean, even the new president that's that has been took place of the guy that was kicked out, they even want her gone. I mean, it's it's definitely like become an old boys monopoly, like mafia feeling. And there's a lot of tension within NAR. And then the other thing is, is besides that, they want to leave, they said, um, because of the obligation to include a buyer's commission in any of their listings which has an effect with them listing the for sale by owners as well and so i think they're trying to get ahead of the lawsuit because i think there's going to be a ripple effect with the lawsuit so right now you know anywhere has settled remax has settled there's talks keller williams says they're not settling but there's rumors that they're going to settle as well and like you said, NARS digging their feet in and saying they're not going to, which I think is a mistake because it's just going to bring a lot of negative, a lot more negative attention. And I think Redfin's trying to get ahead of this and say, hey, we want to distance ourselves from NAR because they are not named right now in this lawsuit. But there's going to be a ripple effect where if NAR loses, which there is a high chance that they might lose, these are the top attorneys out there. And they've been very successful at suing other big companies. If if NAR loses, there's going to be a ripple effect that a whole bunch of other brokerages, I think, are going to get pulled into this. So I think Redfin is trying to distance themselves ahead of the game. Yeah, and it's a really bold move. And when you look and say, well, what does it really mean to the average person buying and selling a home? There's a few nuggets in there that they say, look, we first of all, they've been trying to get the National Association of Realtors to concentrate on making more consumer friendly portals and access mm -hmm. and what national association of realtors did a long time ago was they gave zillow access to everybody's listings and zillow became this big giant in the industry and then they didn't try to develop anything else except for just you know purchase realtor.com and and think that maybe that was going to compete with zillow but they're they're also saying they don't allow us on our website as members of nar to even post a for sale by owner listing. Mm -hmm. Now, why would at a brokerage, would you want to post a for sale by owner listing if you don't get a commission on it? And in Redfin's view, they're saying, we want the consumer to be able to see everything and make their own choices by having a good, strong national portal like Redfin. Mm -hmm. And they also want to be able to say, and remove the requirement that they have to pay a commission to a buyer's agent, which is what this lawsuit's all about anyway. So we know that's going to go away. They've already done that in the Northwest. So we know that's going to happen. But 
what's interesting, Jackie, that I read <coughs> is in many markets, they can't, they can't just pull away. No. They said, uh, NAR has forced an all or nothing choice on us, but this all or nothing approach isn't of Redfin's choosing. The rules require us to leave local and state associations, even when our only beef is with the national association. And they go, the rules further say that if a broker isn't a member, no agent under the supervision could be a member. So we choose nothing. Which means no access to MLS. Yeah, in some markets, <coughs> Arizona being one of them. So if you're not a member of the National Association of Realtor, you can't be a member of a local board. You have no MLS access. You're worthless. You right. can't get in there. Now, Redfin hasn't pulled out of those markets. They're doing it where they can. So it sounds like <coughs> they want NAR to decouple MLS access from NAR support. Mm -hmm. Think it's going to happen? I think there's a possibility. It's really muddied the waters. It's going to be interesting to watch. You already got this lawsuit out there right now. And now you've got this, you know, like, wow, the market is getting wild. And, mm -hmm. but you're sitting out there buying and selling a house. Like, do I even give a rip? Well, you might, I mean, it'll be, it's not going to change a whole lot, but it's, it's definitely what you're seeing is an industry here. That's really trying to, come to grips with how they're going to change and adapt. And the national association doesn't seem to be listening to their members. No, not at all. There's so many issues going on with inside NAR. And even as an agent up until probably the last six months to a year, I wasn't even aware of it. I mean, I just grumbled all the time when I had to pay my dues because I was like, what am I getting for this? Which is basically nothing you know, a beautiful new logo and um, the ability to join my local associations and pay more money for MLS. Now I get, we, what is our worth if we don't have access to MLS? I get that. I mean, that a consumer needs us for that access. Totally get it. But it's a lot different now that there's on the online sites like Zillow and Redfin and Realtor.com. It's completely changed. And I think it's going to have an effect on potentially for sale by owners, which I don't think there should be an issue with an agent advertising a for sale by owner. I've sold a lot of for sale by owners over the years. I have never had a for sale by owner when I approach them and say, hey, I obviously don't work for free. This is what I will charge to handle the transaction. I have a buyer. Would you be willing to pay a co-broke to me? I have never had a for sale by owner say no. Oh, either have I. And I think... I think that letting people have access to that is fine. I mean, getting back to Zillow, like you just mentioned, let's face it, Zillow only has access to those listings because we input the data. Right. So we put the data, it goes on a thing called List Hub, it gets sent out there and they have it. I've never had a problem with that. No. It's like, you know, hey, hats off. They built a good website. Get over it. Um, you know, I personally, I like it so I can look at homes nationally. You know, mm -hmm. before, if I wanted to see if there was a home for sale in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I had to go there. Uh, mm -hmm. There was no or way find to find an look. agent there. Yeah, and find an right. agent. And now you can finally look all over the country mm -hmm. and uh, and see what's available. So I think that's where Redfin is saying that they would like NAR to explore that at a much higher level. By the way, since we're sending you all this money, do you think maybe you can? help us build a platform that's more consumer friendly. So hats off to Redfin for doing this. We'll see what happens. And uh, I thought it was worth talking about today and we want to stay on track of this. And uh, cause we talked about the big lawsuit coming, you know, and even on the 16th, you know, they're just going to be going into court and introducing each other and shaking hands. And then it's going to be a while before we find out if anything gets done there. But uh, we this will, will go on for years. First. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm not going to be here for years talking about any of <laughs> Sure it, you will. This, is, this was a real surprise to me this morning to see a brokerage get that bold. Mm -hmm. so and I think it's that. a smart move. I really yeah. do. All right. Well, Jackie, thanks for joining me. We will catch you again. Thanks, Rick. Bye, see guys. You.